Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. I hope you're doing well. I'm bringing you some more Majesty content today. Uh, if you're new here, welcome on in. We're gonna jump right in to uh, the next map. The next map is going to be uh, a deal with the demon. So let me put it this way. I don't recommend anybody makes a deal with a demon, but in the event you do, you're gonna need to be bailed out, right? And the way you bail it out is by making some of that sweet cash money. So the objective in this particular map is to make 100,000 gold within 40 days or lose the quest. You're seeing that number right, folks. Six figures, 100,000 gold in 40 days. So I'm thinking trade posts. I'm thinking marketplaces. I'm thinking we get the map to a point where we kind of control it and own it. And then just go crazy on the trade post. What are your thoughts? Uh, with that being said, we're going to jump right in. But if you're new here, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Let me know how you're liking the Majesty content. Let's rock and roll. Alright, so we start off with... So we got Wizards Guilds. We've got a nice blacksmith here. We've got a guard house. We do have a gambling hall. That can come into play later. You kind of get the idea of what this is. You're literally betting money, and if you pick the right color, well, well then you get, you know, uh, additional. You double your, your income, things like that. Um, we want to get a marketplace down right away. So let's get it right there. And this is actually a pretty good position. We'll get a warrior up here, but this is a pretty good position for the marketplace because if we think about. The trading post, right? And we're also we're going gnomes in this one for sure. So let's let's get ourselves some gnomes. If we're gonna be building trading posts out here, right? We need those built quickly. The gnomes are going to enable us to do that. In fact, it's the only thing that will enable us to do that. So makes a lot of sense to go gnome here. So we're, we're gonna take advantage of that. But let's think about our marketplace placement here, right? So if our marketplace is right here, way over here is a very far distance, right? So it's up here, so it's down here. It means the return on those trade caravans is go going to be excellent. And that's what we want to see. Because we have to make $100,000. Now it looks like we do have, uh, interestingly enough, we have some rogues guilds down here. your marketplace now serves you better. And I, I believe they're I believe they're hostile. I mean that's the way I look at it. I look at them as being hostile. I don't I don't know how else I can really interpret that. I guess we're gonna have to see. So it looks like we do have a rogue here. Sovereign, your marketplace now serves you better. So let's let's see what they do. It looks to me like they're coming right on up. The wizard is reacting as it's an enemy, as if it's an enemy. So yeah, these rogues are our enemies for sure. So we're gonna have to deal with that. We should probably deal with that right away. So let's throw a few bounties on their guilds here and see how our heroes compete against them. I think wizards are low-key strong against rogues if they can kind of aggro to them. Not certain how the priestess is gonna do, but I guess we're gonna find out right now. Ha! Look at this! So interestingly enough, you put a bounty on the rogues guild, the rogues are so greedy they will attack their own guild for the bounty. Isn't that beautiful, folks? You love to see it. This is hilarious. It really is. In fact, somebody screenshot this. I think this is like... This is Majesty, in a nutshell. It really is. Uh, so we did lose a wizard. I'm interested to see where and how we lost that wizard. These rogues are uh, very tied up, attacking their own guilds. And it is just hilarious to me. Alright, so uh, back to kind of focusing on... Looks like this is just going to fall. Looks like... Yeah, I mean, all you have to do is really place bounties on this thing and it's toast. Um, but let's, let's focus again here. So what are we trying to do? 
We're trying to make 100k. What do we need to make 100k? Marketplaces, right? Marketplaces generate income. We know that. The trading post also generates income. So I think if we can get to a point where we're looking, we're looking good, and we kind of have full control of the map, I think that's an ideal time to sort of just start broadening our reach with trade posts. I mean, and that's what we want to do. Because 100,000 is a lot of gold, folks. It, it just is. Especially with how everything scales upward in cost. Like, heroes are, in general, pretty expensive. Especially if your wizard, your $500 wizard, just gets evaporated by a werewolf. That's not good. You don't like to see that. One step closer. So, so is, it, is anybody going to do anything about this guy? Okay, thank you, Sister Dread. Thank you. Ouch. Somebody get this guy. Like, you're literally co-mingling with a werewolf. And it, it, it's frustrating. It makes me scratch my head. There you go, Skellies. Get him. One step closer. So we can get protection rings. I do think it's pretty important to get this marketplace. Let's get her up to level 3 right away. Let's get a few building upgrades as well. Let's get another warrior. I think warriors have pretty good uh, presence. Just map presence. now serves you better. And really, uh, I mean, once we kind of explore a little bit and clear out the the enemies that are threatening, this one's all about playing SimCity, folks. So let's get our houses on the repair route. For whatever reason, they default to not being on the repair route. Well, we want to keep those repaired and, and up. We want our tax collectors stopping by each of them houses and getting the gold there. Did get the protection ring, so we'll be ready to, to go up to Marketplace Level 3 here real soon. We have a werewolf just hanging out by the Warrior's Guild. That's interesting placement for the werewolf. Another thing about the Mage Guild, so it does enchant weapons. Um, so this is another building we should probably look at getting upgraded, because it does, it does generate income, right? As heroes go there to upgrade their weapons. So it's another thing that we want to do in our really ambitious goal of 100k. So I'm going to get some explore flags on the board here. Down here actually might be a good spot for our first trade post. I mean, it's wide open. Wizard, hang in there. Nope, he doesn't. Wizards melt. That's just what they do. They can melt your enemies, but they also melt themselves. And this is what we really want to get away from. So this Ratman just, you know, plucked $350, $400 from our marketplace. Yikes, man. What is going on here, folks? What is going on? Lost a lot of income in just heroes alone. So we have this troll coming in, they love to target marketplaces, they love to just cause general chaos. Looks like Sister Spirit Void and our wizard is on the job, we like to see it. Let's take our marketplace up to level 3 here to get that superior income. Skellies have got to get involved here, otherwise we're going to be down another warrior. I think these werewolves are low-key, low-key pretty good at... Uh, Dispatching early game heroes for sure. And this warrior is just running for his life, isn't he? So we're really kind of forced to start off slow here, which is unfortunate, but it's just kind of the way it is. Um, what we really need is, we really need a, we need a guardhouse on this sewer here. It's of course right by the marketplace, right? As it usually is. And that's not a good spot for it because the rat men come out and they just go right to your marketplace and they take all of the gold that you've carefully and, and 
patiently built up. So we don't like to see that. So let's see if we can't get a guardhouse. It'd be great to get one like right there, but I think right here is going to be a decent spot for it. Right here should be a decent spot for it. So let's get a guardhouse up, and then let's go with a little bit of southern expansion in in the shape of a, a of a trade route. I'm gonna build a trade route down here. It's gonna head up, and then we're gonna want to watch out for the proverbial troll that you know materializes out of nothing. Also gonna want to get a rogues guild. And get it up to level two. I think it's important to do Your that Highness, because we're gonna have because we're gonna have um, well, we're gonna need to extort for sure. So we're looking at that as well. Uh, we're sitting on a nice sum of cash right now, so I think it's the sensible time to go ahead and get the trading post on the board. Let's get our first one down. And just as standard issue here, we're going to go with uh, Guardhouse as well. So let's go with the Guardhouse, and let's also throw an inn down here. You'd like to have a little bit of, uh, of hero involvement down here as well. There, there goes the gnome, you know, leveling up while building. You'll love to see it, folks. I mean, the gnome is just is crazy good at building. Your Majesty, a new building is we got Sister Shadow Friend here doing some battle. Looks like we got some trolls on the board. This is a pretty formidable Our force here. We have a goblin We've priest in the, the mix. House. Just gets wasted by Sister Shadow Friend, who is level 7, folks. See, here we go. Here's the rat men. Watch them. See they're how they steal all your money. It's so frustrating. So, so frustrating, and it's something that we have to get under control, for sure. You can do that with map control, like the guardhouse and the arrows. But I believe once that money gets swiped, unless a hero kills that rat, it's gone. So we have to be very careful. Here comes our first caravan here. So 325 gold. No, not the biggest sum, admittedly, but that's okay. The distance is short, right? And the marketplace is level 3. So this is actually going to be tripled, this value. So it'll be 975 once it actually gets dropped off. So that, that's something you definitely like to see. Here comes another rat man. If gnomes were so important to just your overall ability to expand kind of rapidly, I'd go dwarf here and I'd be throwing ballista towers around all these sewer entrances. Majesty, the local blacksmith offers you new services. All right, so we do have the, the blacksmith up here, so we could go up to level three with that, or we could go with like a rogue's guild. So I think going with the rogue's guild is, is good. I think getting more heroes in general is good, right? Here comes two more rat men, but uh, Sister Dorota is on the job, and they don't stand a chance, of course. We have Sir Finnelhand, Swift Blade, duking it out up here with the werewolf, leveling up in face. You love to see it. Just a big misfest here, boys. We do have a dark castle up here. Let's definitely eradicate that. The dark castle can spawn all kinds of unsavory monsters that we don't like to see. And Sir Finnelhand does lay down the werewolf. Gets a $350 cash payout for that effort. Hopefully he puts it right back into our economy. This marketplace has three grand on it. 
which is also good. So I think I'm gonna take this time to just let's train some lost heroes here. Let's get some ropes. How? Okay, warrior. We just have one, so let's get another. We're, we're doing good on, on income so far, so let's upgrade some guilds here too. Namely, our rogues guild, so we can extort. Let's upgrade, or let's not upgrade. Let's train another wizard. Priestess ranks are full. Let's get another warrior. Let's just add to it. And of course, we're going to clear another spot up here in the top corner for another trade post. It's definitely what you want to see. Are you willing to flirt with death? Blacksmith is upgraded. And our rogues guild upgraded as well. So, of course, the level 2 rogues guild allows the, the weapon poisoning. Which is another, uh, it's another service that generates income. So we just want to provide our colony with income generating sources. And we're also going to want to get to palace level 2 here. And the main reason we want to do that is because it does give you another tax collector, right? So there's one tax collector. He's working hard. He's just kind of trudging along, you know, slowly. But he's working hard. Look at him go. All right. This guy's important because he's going to be the one that's fundamental and instrumental in getting us across the finish line of that 100,000 gold, which is, it's a lot of gold. <laughs> All right, let's get our armor upgraded. Let's get another wizard here. So let's, uh, let's make sure our hero ranks are full. And then let's go up to palace level 2 to get another tax collector on the board. Alright, so the wizard's guild is full. Warrior's guild full. Temple 2 crypta is full. And so is the rogue's guild. We're in a better spot here. Tax collector going to, uh, looks like, pop by the marketplace here. We have another caravan coming in. See how that dropped off 1,100? You'll love to see it, folks. And you also see how the troll just materializes out of nothing, literally. So we're, we're really going to have to watch. We're going to have to watch this trade post. Because if a troll gets back here, he can just pound on it, and the arrows will not reach him. So... Gonna want to be careful for sure. Let's get this evil castle off the board while we carefully save for palace level two. That's what we're looking for right now. Palace level two. We want to get that extra tax collector. And I think we could probably get there if we did the extort function here. Yep, so you can see. We can get 4,200 instantly, but we pay 2,200. I think at this current juncture... I think it's a good move. It's gonna help propel us a little bit further. And you know, some some things just never change, right? So let's see here. I know this rat stole money. So it looks like it does get paid back out to, to heroes, which is good. At least it's not completely lost. You know what I'm saying? All right, uh, for buildings here at level two, we could get another trading post. I think it's a sensible thing to do, given that we do have the income to expand. So not only, of course, does it cost the trade post fee, but you definitely need a guard house, right? And a wise person should probably also throw an inn up there just to make sure we get some hero traffic. For Rangers Guild, I, I think we can throw one of these down. This is just more heroes in the colony. We, we need them going out and bringing income back in, of course. And another thing I want to grab is a statue. So a statue raises the loyalty of your heroes, meaning they'll be more likely to, uh, you know, approach reward flags and explore flags, things like that. Your Majesty, our new building is complete. Pleasure. So here we go, we got some serious gnome building skills. Excellent. 
And that's why you go gnome, folks. Your Majesty, our new building is complete. You put the build building plots down, and the gnomes just get it built. It's just what they Your do. Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. And notice we have another sewer entrance. It never fails to just go right by our marketplace, does it? So I think this marketplace is going to be under constant assault, constant pilfering from these darn rat men all game long. I sure hope not. So you might you might be thinking, you know, is it wise to go with another marketplace here? And frankly, it, it, it might be. And we could also get our Wizards Guild upgraded. That's another move we can make. This poor troll here is being swarmed by the Skellies. Sister Deep Knight here. She's fleeing in terror. In fact, they're all fleeing in terror, even though... The troll has terrible resistance and could easily be just melted. But we're not going to do that. We're going to run to the inn. That's okay. That's a respectable move. As long as our trading post remains in good standing. We did get a pretty decent payout here. We have some rogues busy taking down the evil castle. you love to see that. So we have some money. Why don't we get the wizard's guild upgraded? And, and here comes the troll. And this is exactly what I wanted to avoid, of course. So I'm going to actually upgrade these guard houses. And the, and the hope there is to get veteran guards. I'd like some veteran guards. And we'll see if we can't... Let's get teleportation amulets, just another thing to sell. A building has Let's get another upgraded. marketplace right there. My service ends. With an inn. Goodness gracious, warriors. Sister Deep Knight is in Sovereign. serious trouble. A building has been upgraded. Yep. Sovereign, Could have saw that coming from a mile away. Alright, let's get another warrior. Maybe he can pop out. Get some combat done and gain Your a few Majesty, levels. A new building is complete. So we got the Northern Caravan coming down, carrying 477 gold. This is going to translate well in our level 3 marketplace. 1431. That's good. So let's go healing potions here. We'll do market day and we'll get another level 3 marketplace here. We'll focus fire on that. We are at about that the halfway mark. And we have 580 gold in the coffers. So we're really going to have to ramp up the, the trade post. I face death with renewed strength. We're going to have to get more. We're going to we're gonna want one on pretty much each, each extreme Sovereign, location your here. Marketplace now serves you better. I think ultimately it's, it's safe to say that we are making good income. We just have to continue to... Pursue the making of good income, upgraded. if you will. And, and the way you do that is trading posts, marketplaces. We'll want to get the palace Your up to highness, level 3 as well. The In fact, highness, I'm thinking that... The I'm thinking that might be the sensible thing to do right now. So let's do that. At palace level 3, I believe you get a 4th tax collector. Definitely something that you want. There's absolutely money out there to be collected. Alright, so let's get some ranger action. Let's get a protection ring here on that marketplace. We have the explore flags in place. Werewolf should not be able to last. Wizard's doing a good job. Could, uh, could throw down a library right here so our wizards have some more spells. They will also spend money there, of course, learning those new spells. So you like to see that. And the exploration efforts have been pretty good. So let's get a quick gut check. Your Majesty. The royal treasury is nearly empty. So it looks like we have about 
Your Majesty. About 7,500, 8,000 or so of available gold in the colony to be collected. We could extort for it right now, but obviously pay a premium for that. Sister Shadow Friend is a level 10 priestess. That is impressive. Let's see her do some work here. Melting goblin priests. Yeah, it's a casual thing she does on, on the weekend. And she gets right up there with the teleport. This might not be good. The wizard helps support. That's excellent. You'll love to see that. Sister Shadow Friend. She's, she's got to hang in there, though. Wow. The troll took her out. Unbelievable. Alright, so we got 3,400... Look at this. This rat man stole three grand. Two grand. This is insane. Somebody has to kill. Somebody kill this guy. Goodness gracious, man. Just ridiculous. So yeah, you ever wonder where your gold goes sometimes? Probably in the dirty hands of a rat man. I'm not gonna lie. Your Majesty, our new building is complete. I'm melting. You will get all my prowess is unmatched. We lost a wizard. Man, nothing too impressive at level three, but. It's still kind of inexcusable, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of low-key inexcusable to be dying to anything at this current point in time. We pretty much have control of the full map. So let's get another trade post down there. Let's get arrows here, we need that. And let's go up to level 3 with this marketplace. Let's try to prevent the, just, pilferage. Your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. I think another solid place for a trading post is right up here Your by Majesty, this warrior skill. The warrior skill does have the call to arms skill for 500. Majesty, it will teleport all four guild members back home. Sovereign, so if we ever, has been upgraded. so if Your we ever Majesty, have a trade post that's, you know, complete. under serious heat, we can just teleport the warriors back to handle the problem. So I, I like that as a solution. And obviously, we're definitely going to have to get more gold. Just need more gold. Your Majesty, the Royal Treasury is nearly empty. Looks like the Skellies are aggroing to that Medusa. And here comes the troll. Here he comes. Here he comes. He sees that I'm building a trade post here. And he's looking to reject that. He's looking to disallow my trade post. And, of course, we have another troll here. And this, folks, is why you put guardhouses in place. The arrow should train fast enough, and when he shoots, the troll should change his focus. Yep, he does. That's good. We have the ever-present ratmen just continuing to do their, their dirty things. All right, let's let's get a let's get a few royal gardens. Royal gardens allow your heroes to meditate there if they just kind of stop by and check in. But what they also do is they generate income. Income out of thin air, that is. So we're definitely gonna want some. Your Highness. Our research in the library is complete. Definitely gonna want some royal gardens for sure. Your Majesty, our Sir Argoth. Is complete. All right. I thought he was in trouble. It's another rat man. Just 
being a nuisance. Your Majesty, our new building is complete. We have 15 days left though, and we got about about 10 grand. The gnomes are getting better at this for sure. All right, let's see. What's the price tag for a trade post? It is up to five grand now. That's a bit steep. It's a bit steep, but... I mean, we're gonna have to do it. I think getting a temple to Lunord is an important step here. We can get a temple to Fervus as well, sure. Might as well, well, it's cheap. Could also get another Rogue's Guild. I like that. Let's just get some more hero presence. That's what we're looking at doing here. Getting some more hero presence. We do have the, the 10,000 necessary. So we can go ahead and grab... Our new building is complete. Your Majesty, so let's go trading post. Your Majesty, our new building is complete. Let's get another temple to Lunard down there. And then let's also throw a guardhouse, of course. Now let's train some new heroes. Let's upgrade this, of course. The royal treasury is nearly empty. Getting Purple Daisy, the, the cultists. You love to see it, folks. Love the names of these cultists. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. All right, we got we got a good payout here. Got to spend some to make some, you know, for sure. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. At day 27 there, so we do, we do want to be careful. Tax collector has been destroyed. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Your we Highness, don't love to see that, but our the library is complete. And here we go. Here's a rat man. He's gonna just assume his position. Oh, ne never mind. He's not interested in the marketplace, which is great for us. Let's go teleportation amulets there. It's another item for the marketplace to sell to heroes and generate some cash. Another caravan coming in for 12 hundo. You love to see it. Your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. Let's get that rat man Pestilence out of there. And decay. And let's see, what's Robin, the price tag on a trading post? 9,300 now. Give me speed, Lunord. Pestilence and decay. So let's take our wizard's Give me speed, tower Lunard. up to the next level as well. Let's go with the Warriors Guild right there. I like the idea of using Warriors Guilds to protect. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. Protect a future trade post position. So I, th I think we had like we could probably get one more trade post down. I think this corner is a good spot for it. I mean, you Your got 6,000 gold Our sitting there. The library is complete. And then I think the, the next important thing to get is is most likely... I think these, these fairgrounds. I, I think that's going to be a good lucrative purchase. Probably some more royal gardens as well. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Here comes this troll here. Can anybody take this guy out? Seriously. Just, just nonsense. So much nonsense going on in this one. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. But we got Clem, Drep, and Dalber, Bopo coming down. We got the Adept coming out. That's good. You like to see that? Warrior Discord. Let's grab a few of those guys. They are spendy, but they are strong. Let's get another rogue here. 
plenty of adepts. And what the what the adept does? So he's kind of like a, a mid melee guy. Like he's not the strongest by any by any stretch. But what the adept does is they they tend to well they they enchant other heroes with haste, which is awesome. And then they, they tend to patrol the city. So they patrol your buildings. So it creates you know foot traffic from your various buildings. So when you have a jerk like this troll here coming in. Hopefully there's at least a hero in the general vicinity to take care of that, right? So we're gonna throw... It's probably gonna be the last trading post that we build given the price tag of these things. And look at look at the troll, man. They, they, he almost got it. Almost killed it. And we spent a pretty penny on these trading posts. We really did. So we just gotta, you just gotta be careful. Uh, I've gotta be keen to see where the yellow is on the mini-map up here. And to see if it, you know, spawns in any location that's near our trade post. Because we have to get a bounty flag on it immediately. Your Majesty, Otherwise, you'll blink and th that trade post will be destroyed. So here comes an adept, just on his normal patrol. They're also fast. So they get from point A to point B pretty quick, Your Majesty, our which is new good. Building is complete. But you know, like you just saw there, n not the strongest. Uh, we have a Minotaur up here. Don't like to see that. Hopefully, somebody can do something about that. We have the tax collector up here. I don't know what the tax collector's doing. Okay, so the tax collector dropped off some gold in the guardhouse. That's not bad. But why isn't he grabbing the 500 sitting at that in there? Alright, so we're looking at 10k. Um, I'm gonna go... I'll go fairgrounds here. Definitely want to get some fairgrounds down. And then I'm going to also go... With just more royal gardens here. We've got eight days to really pump this thing up. This caravan is going to drop off 456 gold. That's a nice sum. Fairgrounds going up. You'll love to see it. There's about 13k or so in the overall colony. Your Majesty, our new building is complete. So we're gonna kind of have to go into uh, you know a, a, a saving, a saving strategy here. No more twenty thousand dollar trading posts. Your Majesty, our new building is complete. Your Majesty, our new building is complete. Let's make sure these trading posts stay erect, though. We need to. Your Majesty, shall we host a tournament now? Your yes, Majesty, yes, we shall. Is Let's do a combo tournament. Fairgrounds start generating some serious income as well. But low key, you want to watch out. You want to make sure that not all of your heroes go there. Because the heroes love the fairgrounds. So if they're all at the fairgrounds competing, and there isn't anybody left to defend the realm, you know, you can see the problems that could potentially be created. Alright, so we're sitting at 20k. Your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. And we have seven days. I feel like I feel like we kind of got to get moving on this. There's 10k, like a solid 10k sitting right right here. So this guy's gonna get. I'm gonna set this guy for a minimum pickup of a thousand. So this guy's gonna focus on. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. This guy's gonna be focused on the the big ticket places. 
Marketplace, probably fairgrounds. Get veteran guards there. Got the rock. It's a weak combatants. Indeed. Alright, 35k. The Your Highness, we've gold was the grabbed. How's this marketplace doing? This marketplace has another 85k. And now another 10k. So once that materializes into our coffers, we're looking at, you know, 45, 50,000. Here's another grand. Don't really think it's worth really researching library spells right now. It, it just isn't. Alright, so these marketplaces are up and running. The, the caravan's gotta get in there, though. There's a whole lot of action going on. A whole lot of activity. And I think this kind of sums up... Now I'm ready for anything. This kind of sums up the glory of what Majesty is, right? bunch of AI scripts executing at the same time creating the semblance of a civilization right nice job the adept got that rat man killed and in comes the gnome of course to repair like he's so good at doing and repairing quickly at that we're sitting at We'll be to about 50k here soon. What are we looking at for extortion? So there's 15,000 gold in the colony right now, so that'll put us up to 60. We have four days left. I don't know if we have to get on the gambling hall here for a little bit. I mean, maybe we can gain a little bit of supplement, supplementary income. I mean, I really don't want to have to re rely on this, but I mean, we're looking at four days, and we're we're halfway there. Pestilence and decay. An ill wind blows your Majesty. I serve with pleasure. Just losing cash, skulls. So we've lost five grand. Yikes. We won there. Skulls. Let's go gold. Oh, blue. Of course it's blue. Why wouldn't it be? Yeah, we just gambled away a lot of cash there, folks. But there's over 20,000 in the overall colony. But we have three days left. This isn't going good. It's just not going good. Cast winged feet on the on the tax collector. Don't mind if I do. I think that's low key something I probably should have been doing earlier. Yeah, that's that's super effective. Fifty K. We could extort for 17,000. So there's gold out there. We just got to get it. Nicely done. I missed that. Of course, we have this annoyance here. We don't want this trading post to fall. Get there, bro. Yikes. That is the worst thing that could have happened. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna have to go... We're gonna have to bet it on blue, for sure. In the name of the Sovereign! Alright. 
16 grand. So there's another 20 grand kind of floating around out there. We are at day 39, folks. This isn't good. We need... We need something here. Something to go right here. Gold one. Thirty-nine. Yeah, we're. I, I. This isn't good. Just simply isn't good. I think if you get a gold bet, though, you get a big payout. Twenty thousand gold, right there, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Now let's extort the rest and win we are the day. Your Majesty. Was looking a little bit hairy there. Look, right at the nick of time. We just barely won. But obviously the gambling hall, the $1,000 bet, the having that income, two bets, and then the big $20,000 payout really put us over the top. So that is a deal with the demon. I believe it's the only map where it, it's majesty. where it's money-based, like you have to earn a certain amount, thankfully. Um, admittedly, it does kind of get a little slow, right? But it's also a fun opportunity to sort of build a community and bu build a community that's sort of focused on making money, right? So you can experiment with double marketplace. You can really experiment with the trading posts and things of the like. But with that said, uh, this video is very, very long for a Majesty video, I feel. Must have been in the 15 to 20 minute range. This is at the 47 minute mark. So I'm going to cut the video here. But if you're new here, please like and subscribe. If you enjoy the Majesty content, you know, drop a comment. Let me know. Let me know how you're liking it. Does this bring you back? Is this nostalgic for you? Have you heard of this game at all? Is this your first exposure to the game? Let me know. Receive some comments on a few of my other videos. Of, you know, of people that have never heard of Majesty before. So, I'm glad that I'm able to at least show other people in the world this awesome gem of a game from the early 2000s. With that being said though, I hope you have a great day. Stop back to the channel. Got plenty more content coming up. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye.